Ferrari F40, arguably one of the most iconic sports cars ever built. You wanna learn more about what goes into making these things look great? Well, stay tuned, because we're gonna go into a bunch of details next. Hi, I'm Todd Cooper Ryder with Esoteric. Welcome today for a very special video we're doing here on the Ferrari F40. Now, this is one of those cars that's been near and dear to us for many, many years. It starts off probably a decade ago. First one that I got the opportunity to work on, wrote a huge article about it, got picked up by autoblog.com. Everybody got to see what goes into a major restorative level detail on a car like this because it is quite a bit different. We've got a beautiful uh, 488 Pista back there behind it. Working on these two cars, completely different uh, approaches. With that article and with this car, one of the things I talked about is the preservation aspect of it. You don't just go in and start hacking away at on a car like this. There are a lot of requirements, a lot of potential issues that you have when you're working on uh, a car like this. And from the preservation perspective, we as detailers, it's our responsibility to make sure Sure that these things look good for generations to come. These cars are going to be around for a long time. They didn't make that many of them, um, over 1,200 if I remember correctly, between like 1989 and 92. One of our best customers that we have, you've, you've seen a lot of videos from uh, the collection we work on, he found us through the article that we wrote on this way back when. The determining factor for him to do business with us was the preservation aspect that, that we talked about. You don't want to go in and try to be a hero on a car like this because in doing that, your risk of messing something up goes up exponentially. And when you start repainting parts of an F40, the value drops down uh, considerably. Now with these cars from the factory, had some issues. Back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, uh, that era of Ferrari, the painting was kind of an, an afterthought uh, on it. They just need to look good from far away. Uh, the reality is a lot of those cars would come into port here in the US they would have to have sections repainted before they even went out into any of the dealer network. You had stuff that was painted by hand back then. It wasn't robotics. You had body panels that were different. There's a few different molds on these cars. Things don't fit up right. Um, you know, if they had an issue with the roof, they would just paint half the roof, not do the whole thing. So you've got blend marks. Uh, you've got from the factory, you've got burnt edges on these cars. I've worked on a lot of these cars. I've inspected a lot of these cars. People have hired us to fly around the country to inspect these vehicles before they make a purchase on them. And I can tell you, go around these cars and tell you where you're probably gonna find burnt edges on it, where you're gonna find edges that are really, really thin. And because of the nature of the shape of it, everything is sharp angles. So if, if you're not being really careful about the preservation aspect, you're gonna create some of your own history in the car and that's something that we definitely don't, don't want to do. So with the F40 being one of the most challenging cars ever made from a detailer's perspective, you have to be careful. You have to know what you're looking for. When a car like this comes in, one of the first things we do is we spend a tremendous amount of time inspecting, you know, I've got the light right here. I'm looking at every square inch. I know where to look for specific problems, areas where we may have to be really cautious. You're gonna get these cars. Like I said, you're gonna find burnt edges. You're gonna find areas where paint was blended in. A lot of time that could have come from the factory or from the port. You need to know how to deal uh, uh, with that. So after we do a bit of a, a CSI investigation on these cars, we kind of come up with a game plan based on the needs of the car based on the wants and needs of the customer as well. So with this customer, he bought this car because he wants to drive it, which is fantastic. Some people like to take their F40s, put them in a museum, put velvet ropes around them and never touch them. Some people want to go and drive them, enjoy them, uh, what they were designed for. 
either way is fine. Uh, there's no right or wrong uh, answer there. But with this customer and looking at this car, we looked at it and decided, okay, we're going to do a, a lighter level polish. We're not going to go into a restorative level detail. It wasn't all that bad to start with. Uh, and then since he's going to drive it, we're going to put some paint protection foam on it. Now we're not going to wrap the entire car. It was a, a, one of the original conversations we had, but we're going to do a high impact area, the front end, lower rockers behind the rear wheels. So you can go out and drive it and not damage any of the paint. Now, what would keep you from doing a full wrap on a car like this? Well, first of all, F40s, Another thing, in addition to thin areas and burnt edges, you can find a lot of cracks in the paint in different areas. So if you go and lay down film on that, later on down the road, if there's an issue and you want to pull uh, the paint protection film, you've got a very high degree of pulling paint with it. You want to repaint that whole back end, that's a completely different uh, um, situation that you're dealing with. And you really have to get this to a specialist who knows the F40 and how to do any repainting on it. So for this one, we decided not to, to go uh, that route on it. Too many um, um, potential areas for issues in the future if we decide to do a full wrap on it. I've already done all the polishing uh, on this car. You know, it requires a tremendous amount of taping. It requires a tremendous amount of time and you have to be careful. I was able to go in here and see that somebody had detailed this not too long ago. And I was even able to figure out what kind of polish they used during the process because there were a lot of areas that were taped off where you had just a little bit of the polish left over. I can tell exactly what it was. Um, there were still issues with the paint. There were some holograms in it, some other scratches and haziness that we wanted to go in and, and get to, uh, cleaned up. Uh, we want the presentation of this to be much, much better. I think we did a good job of accomplishing that without going for a super high level of uh, correction on the car, exactly what the customer was, uh, was looking for. It's a very time consuming process. On an F40, if you're going to do a restorative level, which you're going for a super high level of correction on it, you could easily have 30, 40, 50 hours uh, wrapped up in the process. You're also making sure that you're not removing too much material on these cars, because as you polish it, that level of paint gets reduced every single time. So we wanna go in and make sure that we're getting as much correction we possibly can without removing too much material, which is another reason why you don't wanna take your F40 to just kinda of any detailer uh, to work on. They have to understand working on delicate, uh, um, you know, pieces of history like this because they can't be done the same way that you do your other cars. All right, so we got all the paint polishing uh, done, got it cleaned up. We're gonna have uh, the team go in do the wrap, then I'm gonna come back and, and follow up with you to talk a little bit about the paint protection film before we go on to the next stage. So I think I've talked enough at this point. I'm gonna hand this over to the paint protection film team. Enjoy some of the footage that we have on that. Now that we have finished up our paint protection film installation process, I want to recap a little bit of, of what we saw on this car, uh, what we had to do, what we had to change up. Just like with paint polishing on an F40, you don't just send it off to a new detailer to, to be working on. You really need to understand this car uh, and be able to specialize in it. When it comes to paint protection film, with something like the F40, it's not as simple as just hitting a pattern button, printing it out, laying it on there. Sure, you can do that, but with a hand-built car like this and with, with you know, uh, different molds they have for the bodies, everything's not gonna line up perfectly. Uh, and when we went to work on this, we had to 
uh, you know, go to great lengths to customize areas of it to make sure things fit perfectly and as seamless as possible. On the paint protection film, we did full front end, mirrors, rockers, halfway up the doors, and the entire lower rear bumper on this. This hood here, this is three different pieces. We wanna minimize you know, how you can see the seams, where they lie in there, and get alignment of everything else. That front lower area, um, you know, the team had to get really creative on how they came about customizing that piece to make it look as good as possible. So it's not just a simple process. This isn't you know, going to your dealer uh, and, and ordering up a um, partial front end paint protection film where it's just pattern, there's nothing wrapped on it. Nothing like that when you're dealing with the F40. Everything about these cars are completely specialized. Now when you uh, look at this, you have to look really hard to find where there's paint protection film and that is a sign of a good uh, install right there. We want this to look good for a, a long period of time, and by taking that extra amount of time, it ensures that we're not gonna have issues with it, it's gonna look fantastic, and most importantly, people aren't gonna notice that it has film on it. Now, as we said earlier, you know, the customer wants to go out and drive this, have fun with it, you know, shoot some videos and stuff uh, with it. Now with the front end, the lower rockers, uh, your high impact areas, it's all protected in film. They can go out, have some fun, and not have to worry about uh, the delicate paint on the F40. Next up is ceramic coatings on this. A little bit more straightforward, but you want to make sure that you know what you can coat, what you can't coat. You know, some of these rubberized trims and things are a little bit different than you're going to find on regular cars. For this one, we decided to go with ISM 1.0 by Kamikaze Collection. Why? A, just love that uh, product. It's easy on, easy off. Uh, B, I know that on these Ferrari Reds, it looks absolutely amazing. Not many years ago, we did a beautiful red La Ferrari uh, with ISM code on it, some of the craziest photography that I've ever taken of any car. So red Ferrari with ISM code, absolute winner. So we'll go in, protect uh, all the different areas of the car. That way, once again, they can drive it. They're gonna be washing this a lot. Um, we wanna make it as easy as possible to clean up. Then this car is ready to go. They can go out, it's going to look fantastic. It's gonna have uh, protection from rock chips with paint protection film. And then it's got the coatings on it to maintain those good looks for a long period of time and make maintenance easier um, for this car because it is going to be driven a lot. All right, another cool thing that we've got going on with this car, we've got a set of HRE wheels uh, on order for these. They're being built in California right now. Once those come in, we're gonna ceramic coat those wheels, put new tires on it, put it back into place. So hopefully we're gonna have some more video for you uh, on those to complete the package of this car. Okay, hopefully you have enjoyed uh, the trip that we've gone through with this F40, a little bit of behind the scenes of what it takes on a car like this. This isn't as straightforward as say a modern 911 uh, coming in here. There's a lot of uh, caution that goes into this, a lot of expertise that goes into this, and a lot of, of intimate knowledge and understanding of a car of this magnitude. All right, now I wanna link you to a couple of other videos. One is of a walk around here in the shop, show you what some of the kind of cars we've had in here lately. The other is on a rare LaFerrari Aperta and one of the craziest garages that you've ever seen. Thanks, we look forward to seeing you again on the next video.